Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. Now today I get to share with you a Club Lala Land Crafts design team project, two of them actually, using the September 2018 product kit. This is everything that comes in your kit. And then I had to close the blinds because the sun was really shining through. But this here is from my kitchen, Marcy. She is so cute. And then the second stamp set is very special. Perfect for card making because of the size and the scale. And if you love coloring, you will love these stamp sets. Now you also get some dies. You get a little doily, a border die, and then your little mason jar. I did an unboxing and I'll link it at the end of the video in case you guys are interested. Now today's cards, I'm going to be using some pattern papers from my stash. I wanted to create some soft vintage looking cards using the Berry Special stamps. And so I love these pattern papers and I thought it would go good. I'm going to grab this one here. It has um, like a music sheet behind it. And I thought it would be really fun. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I loved it. Um, I was, I'm going to do my stamping directly on my pattern paper. So I'm inking up the bears with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm going to stamp them directly on my pattern paper here. The background is pretty subtle, but it did, did leave a little bit of detail. And I love the way it turned out. I'm going to stamp the second one here. And I did get heavy handed. Um, the left side was the lines were a lot thicker. Now Club La La Land Crafts um, stamps are red rubber and the fine line detail in the red rubber is amazing. So that's why I'm going to restamp it. I'm just going to stamp our last bear here. And then I'm going to color in my little bears with my Copic markers. Um, I did decide to do a little bit of paper piecing using this pink paper with white polka dots. So I'm going to, I want to paper piece the spoon and then also the little jar that the little bear was holding. So we'll stamp both of those and then I'll just trim this little panel down and I'll zoom in and do some coloring. Now I left the caps out for you guys in case you want to um, know the colors. And then I'm going to play a little bit of music and I will catch you back as soon as I'm done coloring. Okay, coloring is all done, and I just I was so happy with the way this turned out. Um, I'm going to use my scissors and fussy cut out all my images. My little bears, I'm going to leave a little bit of a border, but my little spoon and little mason jar, I did cut completely around to the edge because we're going to do our little paper piecing. Now, I did forget to color in a few of my little images, like my little Sammy. I didn't color it, that little Sammy in, so I'm going to use some yellows. I left the colors up on top for you. Um, I just thought it was so neat, the little two-tone look. That's a real nice texture and a real vintage -y feel. Okay, I'm going to grab my glue. Um, I added it to my little bear, but I did um, grab my black marker too. I'm going to actually go around the edges of my mason jar and also my spoon. Oh, here's where I forgot his little hand. So I forgot his hand and his little Sammy, but no worries, we fixed him right up. Okay, I'm going to take a black marker, go around the edges. This is going to just give it a real clean look, especially when you um, 
place this on your bare image, I just think it looks a lot nicer. And we'll go ahead and glue everything together, starting off with a little mason jar. And then I'll trim my spoon into two, two pieces and place them together on my little second pair here. So cute. Okay, now next we're going to do some die cutting. So we're going to push these aside. And I'm going to take that pink, that pink pattern paper that has the white polka dots. I'm going to trim down a small piece. And then I'm going to take the mason jar die that came in the product kit. I'm going to cut out a pink mason jar. And then I'm also going to take this real subtle two-tone pattern paper and using the doily, I'm going to cut out four doilies with this pattern paper. And then using the border die, I'm going to use this um, corally color paper, cut out two borders. Now, I did go over my mason jar with my pinks, the same pinks that I used for my spoon and then the mason jar that my little teddy was holding just to make it pop a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and add the lid and then also the little lid accent. I cut that little uh, lid accent with some floral paper. So that one's ready to go. Lovely. Okay, now I grabbed the papers that I wanted to use for my background. We're going to start off by adhering this corally paper to the left of my card base. My card base is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch standard A2 size card base. Next, I'm going to use my tape runner and we're going to adhere a strip of the pink polka dot pattern paper to this real pretty two-tone floral. Okay, I just trimmed it down a bit and I wanted to add some black and white baker's twine around the seam on this panel. So I'm going to loop it around and just tie a bow towards the top. We'll just trim off the tails a bit. Okay, I did take a piece of fun foam and pop my panel up. Um, this way I have a little bit of dimension. We're just going to place that on our card base. We're going to push it all the way to the right here. Okay, now I wanted to add my little doilies all around the floral two-tone paper here. This is going to kind of break it up a little bit, but give it a real vintage feel at the same time. So I'm just placing them all along the edge, one on um, each side of that pattern paper. Okay. Next, we're going to grab our little bears and we need to stamp our sentiment. So I grabbed this sheet. Um, this paper pad is a very older paper pad. Um, in case you're interested, um, if I can find it, I'll leave it link, uh, link below, but it's pretty old. I believe it's from Prima. But um, this paper had little boxes on there. This one to me looked like a little postcard, so I thought it'd be fun to add our sentiment to that. The sentiment that I chose says, um, sending bear hugs. I thought that was adorable. I'm going to ink it up with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I like to stamp it first on scratch paper because I can't see where I'm stamping and this way I, the chances of me getting it straight are a lot, the odds are better. <laughs> now I'm going to add some foam squares behind my sentiment here and I'm actually going to tuck it right underneath, well one corner right underneath my bow as if this, the postcard is kind of hanging from my bow. Lovely. We'll go ahead and add some foam tape behind our little bears and place them on our card. Now next, I, um, I have this little um, epoxy rose that I've had in my stash. It has a sticky back and I thought it has a little vintage look to it so I'm just going to place that right on top of the center of the knot on my bow. To secure it, I'm just going to use some glue dots. I think that just turned out adorable. I did decide my polka dots kind of got lost a little bit with my Copic coloring over the top, so I'm using my white gel pen to add a little bit of detail on that little mason jar. But that finishes off my first project.
love love the colors and those bears are so perfect for that but here's a close-up okay now we're gonna work on our next project I'm gonna use this pattern paper the roses here were actually to the left of the pattern paper I just trimmed them down and um, I wanted it to cover my entire card base my card front so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this paper down right down the middle and then I'll adhere this strip all the way to the left and then the larger panel I'm gonna here adhere all the way to the right and then um, this way it covers it's going to cover my entire card front just trimming off the excess I have that strip of floral pattern paper and that's going to cover that seam so you, could, you won't even be able to tell but I stretched my pattern paper here I'm going to trim off a little bit of the rose pattern paper and then I'm going to grab my borders that we die cut out with the coral paper these I thought would make really pretty lacy accents to the left and to the right of my little rose panel here lovely I'm just going to grab my foam tape we'll add some adhesive behind here and then I'll place that right over the seam on my card base next I want to use the doilies now that these doilies I cut out with the same paper that I used to stamp the bears on so it's um, got the music notes on there but I wanted to create a circle doily so I'm just placing them together and I'm gonna use my foam squares to secure it and this will be, do, be doing a double duty because I'm gonna place my bear right in the center so cute now I'm gonna arrange my mason jar and my little bear with the doily right over my rose pattern paper and I did pop up my little bear on the doily with some foam uh, squares as well I'm gonna grab another one of these little panels to stamp my sentiment for this sentiment I chose you are very special to me I already stamped it with the same ink as we did for our first card I'm gonna do a little bit of rearranging I thought it'd be fun to attach some Baker's twine to my sentiment here so I'm just using my tape runner to adhere a piece of the black and white Baker's twine on the top and then I'll use some tape to secure it okay, I'm gonna scoot these over just a little bit in my my little teddy bear down and then I do have a pink bread that I grabbed from my from my stash I thought it'd be fun to hang my little sentiment from a brad almost like it's a little picture frame so I'm gonna add some foam squares behind my sentiment and have this ready to go and then I'm just gonna take my craft pick I'll open up my card base first I'm trying to figure out my placement here once I have whereabouts I want to poke the hole I'll open my card and just punch a hole with my craft tool and then I'll go ahead and add my brad now this is going to be on the top part of the card so I wasn't really too worried about the brad showing on the inside but if you wanted to you could cover it with some some paper to make it a little bit cleaner on the inside okay next I have another uh, pink epoxy flower that it's actually on a pin and I like using these um, because I can stick the pin inside the foam tape and I wanted it to look as if he's holding a little flower and that finishes off my second project today kits are available over at the Club La La Land Crafts I'll leave links in the description area if you're new or interested in the kits three kits uh, subscriptions are available the product kit is the Mac Daddy it has the stamp sets and the dies and then you also have just the stamp sets and then you also have just the dies if you're interested so I encourage you to check it out have a fantastic day guys thanks so much for stopping by and we will see you again real soon bye bye